Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're, well, may not suggest it very clearly, we're basically discussing, I see this a lot, I especially see it in U.S. immigration, and I decided to go ahead and make a video about it because it, I, I really kind of wanted to address this in a general sense. We get a lot of inquiries and we're happy to get them. We, we love talking to folks. We love being of assistance to people. But there, there is one thing out there that I think it's, it's, it's both very much a misnomer in people's minds, I think, and it's really not fair to any lawyer, any law firm, any place, uh, when you hear that, well, I've already done most of the work myself. You know, I just need you to tidy up these little things. Well, my first impression any time I hear that, well, if it's such a, an easy thing to do, why don't you go do it? That, that's usually, I don't mean to sound cynical, but, but that's my, my first reaction. But more importantly, I, I see this often, and it comes up in many different contexts. Uh, one of the major ones is in U.S. immigration. We will oftentimes see folks in the U.S. immigration context, they'll say, well, I'm done with USCIS, I just need you to handle, I've done most of the work, I just need you to handle getting the case through the embassy. Well, you know, that's not a small thing. And the other thing I often find interesting is, you know, people want to compare are, you know, generally speaking, in routine cases, we may be able to, and this is cases of many different kinds, not just U.S. immigration, we may be able to provide a flat rate solution. But then they, you know, they come back to me down the road and they say, well, I've done half of it, you know, so cut the fee in half and finish it. No, that's not the way it works. I have no idea what's transpired in the first half of that case. I don't know what's been said to the government, I don't know what's not been said to the government. I don't know if there's, you know, if there's criminal activity that I would have, and, and by criminal activity, the pre-existing criminal activity in a case, kind of taking this from U.S. immigration context. You know, I, I don't know what you've done. And quite frankly, you may have screwed something up. And that's probably, I mean, that could be, I, I hesitate to say probably, but in some cases, I think that might be the reason folks come back and ask for something like this. But long story short, look, you know, we may be able to deal with something in, a, in an hourly basis. We, we may be able to deal with a flat rate on a case that has had some work done on it, but people make all these presumptions. Well, I did half the work. You, well, it's not, that's not the way this stuff works. You know, and again, one of my biggest things, I've been burned a lot on this over the years, over almost 15 years of doing this, you know, of, of being, you know, at one time a rather more credulous, you know, perhaps gullible, lawyer, you know, who somebody said, oh, I did half the work, you know, uh, just, just, you know, can, can you please take it on for this amount or whatever? And then I come to find out that they made a major, you know, in, in certain cases, I've come to find out that folks made, you know, major misrepresentations in their case. And that is a real problem, not only from an ethical standpoint, but from a legal standpoint. And again, this, this is, and I'm not saying everybody that is looking to do this is trying to you know, obfuscate or lie about something. That's not the point I'm getting at. But I, I think what is galling to some extent and really unfair on another level to, a, to somebody who's acting as a service provider in the legal business is, you know, this notion that, that somebody can just dictate what you're going to charge for X amount of work. They can just say, well, I've done this and now you should only be paid this to do this. Well, you know, long story short, that isn't really the way it's ever going to work. And we try to provide reasonable rates. We try to provide reasonable quotations. I try to, where possible, do things, or we do, on a, on a flat rate basis if it can be done that way. But there's just certain circumstances where it can't. So long story short, this notion that, you know, matters can be itemized and I'll do this and you do that, that's just really not the way, you know, legal services work. 